What's going on Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today I'm going to do an overview of the first three The Boys Omnis from Dynamite. So please stay tuned. Now, before I get started with this overview, I'd like to thank Dynamite for sending us uh, these copies so we can do an overview. So thank you very much, Dynamite. Uh, now, the boys have been getting a popularity because of the new Amazon series that just launched a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out because it is really good. Uh, but this is the original source material. Now, these three volumes are available right now. Volume 4 comes out in September, and maybe I'll do an overview of all six of them or the next three when all of them are out. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Okay, so let's take a look at each one of these real quick and give you a first view. The first thing I wanted to do was compare it to the size of a trade paperback. Here it is in between a Marvel and an image trade paperback. The image ones always tend to be just a slight bit taller than Marvel or DC. So it looks like it's just a little bit taller than this, and I mean very, very, very little. Here it is compared to the size of the Definitive Edition. Um, and the Definitive Editions are the size of uh, DC Absolute. So they're a lot taller and, of course, a lot more expensive. So speaking of expensive, the price of these are $29.99 each. They are soft covers. There's not a hardcover edition of the Omnis. Uh, the first volume collects the exact same content that the first volume of the Definitive Edition collects. So it's issues 1 through 14, plus some of the script. I'm just going to showcase some of the artwork here in case you have not seen the show or have read the comic. But it is brutal and awesome. I'm not going to get into too much details other than just give you a little plot synopsis. Then at the end here, you have sketches of the characters and like early drafts of the character designs. And then towards the back, you have the script to issue number four, and that's the first volume. On the cover, you have Butcher, who's played by Carl Urban in the TV series. And here is volume number two. This has uh, Huey on the cover who on purpose looks like Simon Pegg. So the creators behind this badass violent series are Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. Derek Robertson, of course, has drawn just about every character at Marvel from The Punisher to Wolverine to The New Warriors to uh, some of the X-Men and Spider-Man, so just to name a few. What's interesting about this series is that it started over at DC, or the Wildstorm universe there. But during their Teen Titans issue, they kind of got the boot from DC. So they canceled the series, and then Dynamite picked them up. And I'm glad they did, because this series is freaking phenomenal. So, saying that, what is it about? Well, here's a really, really quick synopsis. The boys are a team of these five characters here. You have the Butcher, Wee Huey, Mother's Milk, uh, the Frenchman, and the female. And, of course, Butcher's Dog here. And they have been pretty much had enough of superheroes. Because in some way or form, superheroes have screwed up their lives. And have either killed somebody they love or just messed up their lives. So they're out to destroy superheroes and slaughter them. They're all led on missions, kind of like uh, Suicide Squad. And here's an homage to Uncanny X-Men issue 100. And that's really all I will say about that, other than the fact that it's over-the-top violence, which I absolutely love. It's up there among one of my most favorite books by Garth Ennis. Probably in my top five of all time. And here we have volume three. Again, you have Mother's Milk on the cover. And on the spine, you also have him in red. And the spines all look like this, so you have each character in each spine. 
with the volume number at the bottom. So we know there's going to be six of them. I'm sure the, uh, the Frenchman's going to be in volume four, the female in volume five, and maybe the group picture in volume six. And let's see. By now, uh, Derek Robertson is joined by John McCrea, who did a lot of the artwork for Hitman, the other Garth Ennis book that is phenomenal. See, it's hard to rank them. Because, I mean, Preacher's up there. This is up there. But, yeah, Hitman. I think Hitman's probably my favorite one. So let's showcase a little more of the artwork and actually talk about the spine. The spine on each one of these is glued binding, which is fine for a trade paperback. It's not... It's not too thick. I've seen some of those compendiums, like the image compendiums, which are ridiculous and seem to fall apart. So yeah, it's not that bad. At the end here, you have uh, more sketchbooks by Carlos Esqueria, I believe is his name, Esquera. And then John McCrea's sketchbook, and also the script to issue 37. And speaking of issues, this particular volume collects issues 31 through 38 of The Boys and the miniseries Herogasm. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's so freaking fun and awesome. Now, each one of the books has an introduction. For example, the book one has an introduction by Scott Dumbier, who was the editor-in-chief at Wildstorm, I believe, that got this book pushed and eventually went on to do... Um, Books for IDW. Over here, you have an introduction by uh, Brian K. Vaughn. Yeah, you know him from Why the Last Man and, of course, Saga. And over here, an introduction by Jason Aaron. These introductions were previously in the definitive editions of The Boys. And that was the content that was in each of these books. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever read them, because I strongly suggest that you do, especially if you enjoy the show. And if you have read them, how did you read them? Was it digital? Was it through the comics, or was it through the definitive edition, or the trade paperbacks? I'd love to know in those comments down below. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. <laughs>